This is my Lakewood HV9 fan. I was asked to make a video of this and I'm kind of glad I was asked to because this is a very neat fan. Um, this was one of the first fans I had. I've had this thing forever. Um, unfortunately, at some point along the ways, I thought it was a good idea, and I can't fathom why I thought this was a good idea, but I taped the box, oh duh, I taped the manual into the box. Um, so we can't really, well I guess we can kind of see it, but I guess I was paranoid of losing it, I don't know. That was a long time ago. Anyways, there's a lot of debate about these fans, whether or not they're really good quality or not. The older ones, like this one you'll see here, I think are pretty decent quality. Um, you see the motor is a pretty decent size for a 9 inch fan. Um, this particular one was made and let's see if we can look at the tag here. This was made in November of 2003 so I probably bought it in 2004. Uh, let's take a look at the motor here. See if that'll make it any better with the light on. Yeah it will. It's pretty clean, although I've used it a lot. Um, Alright, well, I guess I'll go ahead and turn it on now. Start it off on low. Yeah, this center badge here kind of vibrates a little bit, but otherwise it's really quiet. And it's low speed. Let's see how much power we're drawing. Yep, 0.28 amps. really is pretty quiet on low moves a nice gentle breeze on low now where did I put the air tester thing? oh here it is it's a pretty decent breeze for a 9 inch fan Go up to speed two, medium. It's kind of loud, but it's moving a ton of air. Jeez, I really gotta get this thing fixed. I think the uh, chair is getting in the way here. And now we'll go up to high. Despite what people think, the blades really don't collapse on themselves on high speed. It's a pretty solid blade set. This is really throwing out the air. And now I'll go ahead and turn it off. Probably could use a little bit of oil, but I haven't ran it in quite some time, so why the spin down time is kind of short. I don't think this really has a startup sound, but we'll see if we can capture one. And the dog is roaming around upstairs and getting messages. This is a freak show. Yeah, the switch is kind of dirty. Probably we should clean that off a bit. Anyways, here's low. It actually does have a bit of a startup sound, and I'm going to do that again because it was vibrating and the messages are coming in, so let's try low again. Okay, now we'll do medium. And high.
It's moving so much air, you can even see this is blowing around in the back of the fan. So I think these are definitely a pretty powerful fans, despite what some people think about them. I think they're pretty good. Of course, the newer ones they put out of just cheesy shaded pole motors in them, and those are absolute garbage, but if you get one that's old enough, they're pretty solid fans. I mean, the whole thing is just overall, when you pick it up and it's sturdy, it doesn't flex or anything. So anyways, that's the HV-9. I think I forgot to show the box, so let's take a little look at the box here. This is the older Lakewood symbol. And here's the side. Unfortunately, this is made in China, but seems like one of the last few products that came from China that were half decent. Here's the back of the box. And here's the other side. And, uh, let's see here. I think that's about it. So, uh, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Over and out.